Hello everyone. Welcome to the FRAS Focus Regional Anesthesia Series. I am Dr. Gopal Krishan Jalwal, Assistant Professor in Anesthesia Department. Today I will demonstrate how to insert the landmark guided subclavian CVP line insertion through infraclavicular approach. Anatomy of the subclavian vein. Subclavian vein is a deep vein that is very commonly uh, used for insertion of CVP line in operation theater or ICUs. It is a continuation of axillary vein and that passes behind the clavicle to meet the internal jugular vein and after joining the internal jugular vein it forms the brachiocephalic vein and that brachiocephalic vein continue as a superior vena cava and superior vena cava ultimately drains into the right atrium. For insertion of subclavian CVP line, patient should be placed in a tender bulb position. And one more thing we have to do that in this picture you can see that my index finger is at the level of suprasternal notch and my thumb is at the nearby acromion process. So suprasternal notch and acromion process should be at the same level. Uh, that can be done by pulling the hand downward so that suprasternal notch and acromion process come into the same level. Next step is that you have to place your index finger at suprasternal notch and your thumb should be uh, below the lateral one third of the clavicle and then uh, you have to uh, in, in, then you have to take the puncture needle and uh, insert just below the lateral one third of the clavicle near the thumb and direction should be toward the suprasternal notch. Technique to insert the subclavian CVP line and here you can see that my uh, one finger is at the index finger is at the suprasternal notch or thumb is near below the lateral one third of the clavicle and uh, now you can see that uh, uh, subclavian vein is punctured and now I am going to insert guide wire slowly and, and uh, you have to uh, mm, watch on the ECGs that because when we are inserting the guide wire then uh, you can see some arrhythmias on the ECG then you have to withdraw the guide wire okay and now next step is that we have to make a small nick at the insertion of the guide wire uh, just small lick superficial lick basically and uh, then we had to uh, uh, have to railroad the dilator over the guide wire and dilate the skin uh, for uh, around insert the guide wire insert the dilator at least three four centimeters and uh, then remove the dilator and then insert the or uh, railroad the CVP line over the guide wire and uh, when you see the guide wire at the other end of CVP line then hold the guide wire and push the and push the CVP line over the guide wire and then you have to remove the guide wire after confirming the free flow of the blood from the all three port. Thank you for watching for this video.